report, he states that he gets a lot of muscle twitches, uh, not always in the same place. Is this linked to FND? That's a nice question. So the people get different sorts of twitches. So you can have um, the little twitches that you feel in a muscle, which might make your finger move, or you might notice it in your arm or something. But it doesn't, it's not much for someone else to see, apart from if you're actually looking at the muscle. And then there's the twitches where someone gets a sudden jerk of a whole limb. Um, and we tend, neurologists would call those um, jerks or myoclonus. So I don't know if he's, I think if he's using the word twitch, he probably means the small, the small That's twitch. what I'm thinking, just the kind of little small where your muscle just kind of keeps. Yeah. So that's, that's an interesting one. So I think the answer is yes, they do commonly, they are, can be a feature of FND, but they don't, they don't have the quality of, for example, the tremor or the jerk in that you can, you can demonstrate that they change during the examination. But it's, we know that, I mean, in fact, if you, if, if you, if, if you go to the population, if you, go, if you ask 100 people out on the street, do you ever have twitches? It's, very, it's actually very common to have twitches. It's kind of normal to have the odd twitch. What's interesting is if, if you notice a twitch, and I've done this myself, if you notice a little twitch in your eye or your hand and you keep noticing it, it does actually make it a bit worse. So there's some sort of process of amplification going on there. And I have patients who are literally twitching all over and I can see it. Um, and they, there's a condition called benign fasciculations uh, when that happens. And those patients don't have a neurological disease usually. There are other things that can cause that, but most of them, it's, it's, it's benign. And it's a, something we see in, quite commonly in medical students actually, and actually I've seen it in training neurologists who, who get these twitches and they start to wonder if they're getting ALS or motor neuron disease, because it can be a sign of that. Uh, but they haven't got that, but, but the twitches have amplified. So we're, we're still learning about how these things work, but there's no doubt that the, the brain can do some pretty strange things to you, uh, and, and, and you know, benign fasciculations and twitches is a good example of that, I think. 